Tim here. So after a lifetime of wimpy trucks, I finally bought something I'm proud of. A new Ram heavy duty truck with a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine. So I set out, along with my best pal, James here on the video cam, to visit the folks in Columbus, Indiana, where they design, test, and build the Cummins turbo diesel. Hey, this truck changed my life. I'm your biggest fan. And one big reason I bought this truck is because I've heard it's something you can count on. I mean, really count on. And after some of the things I've owned, well, let's just say that's a welcome change. So anyway, like, how do they make it so reliable? Do you know? No, me either. But we're going to find out. So here's the deal. James and I heard about this top secret test facility where Cummins tests Ram heavy duty trucks. I got a line on where it is, so I figured we'd check it out on the down low, you understand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Come on. Let's see what we can see here. I'm not really seeing it. Wait, you hear that? Oh, dude, you catching that? That's one of the test trucks. Oh, dude, I would kill to get in a truck like that and ride around. Hang on a sec, dude. I'll, I'll give it to you in a sec. Awesome. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, busted. Hey, we're just uh, trying to see what the secret is to making the 6.7 so reliable. Honestly, the 6.7 reliability is no secret. Right. This isn't top secret. Not really. Well, we're proud of what we do here. Hey, by the way, I'm Scott Henry, the worldwide chief engineer on the ISB product. Hey, Scott, I'm Tim. The guy behind hey, the camera here is James. Hey, James. Uh, so what do you guys actually do here at the track then? This is our test track, which is just one of the many methods that we use on validating this Cummins 6.7. Oh, so the testing is what makes the 6.7 so reliable? This is just part of it. That's a very small part of it, in fact. Uh, you want to take a ride in the truck and we can talk some more? In the test truck? Absolutely. On the track? Yeah, come oh, on. sweet! Shotgun, baby. Come on. This is going to be awesome. That's me in a Ram test truck doing the laps. How cool is that? While I was out on the test track, Scott told me Cummins has been testing Ram trucks for years, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and conditions far more brutal than the test track. They also have trucks constantly running in cities, performing stop and go testing as well. Heck, they even have one truck that ran continuously for 270,000 miles, and it still runs great. Okay, now we're rolling? You sure? Okay, Scott, we talked a little bit about the testing you guys do here at the track, but what other kind of testing have you done on the 6.7? Well, we've ran over 45,000 hours in the test cell, as well as in excess of 11 million miles on the road in various environments. Um, in fact, we continue testing the product to look for ways to enhance the reliability of the product. Um, all this testing has resulted in Cummins having the ability to release the 6.7 at the 2010 emissions levels three full years in advance of that, of that EPA requirement. In fact, the truck, uh, the engine and, and the after treatment system that you have in your new 2010 is basically the same design that we launched in 2007. Cool. Then Scott told me about some of the other reasons the 6.7 liter is so reliable and how it starts with the fact that the 6.7 was created from the gold standard for reliability, the Cummins 5.9 liter. So Scott, that sounds like an awful lot of testing that you guys do here. What do you learn from that testing that allows you to make the 6.7 more reliable? Uh, before we launch new products like the 6.7 or even minor enhancements to that product, we'll do a significant amount of testing. Um, in fact, both the engine and after treatment of this product has went through a whole battery of tests under extreme environments. Um, some of those environments was Death Valley in the middle of the summer, um, altitude, high altitudes like near Pikes Peak, uh, or even cold conditions in small towns like Bemidji, Minnesota. You ever been in Bemidji in the wintertime? No, never been there, but you know what? Bemidji, here I come. That's where I'm going next. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's extremely cold. And, and we understand our customers don't normally take their trucks to those types of environments, right. but it helps us in finding failure modes that, uh, that are unique and that we can fix long before we launch the product. Okay. So bottom line to all the testing is that you are very confident in this engine. Yes, the stability of the, both the engine and after treatment has put Cummins in a unique position. Uh, we've been able to enhance this product for the past three years. 
Uh, in fact, we've got over 200,000 trucks running every day in customers' hands. Um, that, that is something that no other diesel manufacturer in the heavy-duty pickup market can claim. So you guys at Cummins are way ahead of the curve. Absolutely, yeah. Tim, this, this product is proven. And I've got one of the proven products. It's a great truck. All in all, I'd say that was a pretty good day, don't you think? I mean, we got to drive trucks around the test track and we found out what makes the 6.7 so reliable. But you know, now that we know all this top secret information, I wonder if we need to go into like a witness protection program or something. Like maybe we know a little bit too much for our own good. You think? <laughs> Let's hit it, buddy. I heard a little bit. But, but that was to good too.